Hi Virgo, this is Tuesday. I'm going to do a quick read for you guys. I uh, went ahead and laid out the cards just to begin with. You know, it's a new channel, so thank you, thank you for visiting. It's a new channel. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to proceed. I prefer to leave, lay the cards out ahead of time <clears throat> so I can really sit with the energy and um, kind of sort through the messages because, you know, that are coming in rather than um, rush through them because I've got the video going. Um, but I know a lot of people like to have the spreads, you know, everything shuffled and laid out on camera. So um, let me comment. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If, um, if it resonates, great. It can't resonate for everyone because it is general. Um, so if it does, leave me a comment down below. And if it doesn't, be sure to check your other signs. All right, let's see what we have. Ten of Pentacles <clears throat> and Four of Cups. So in your energy, we have the Hermit and the Ten of Wands. Feeling burdened. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Okay. What is this Ten of Wands? Please, let's get some clarity on the Ten of Wands. High Priestess might be dealing with the Pisces. So the High Priestess is is uh, someone that's you know all knowing, like an oracle, but she's mysterious. She she knows, but she doesn't always share the information. She's really um, kind of aloof. Like uh, she kind of sits back and observes, but she knows. Um, so let's see, High Priestess. Heavy burden, Ten of Wands. What is this Ten of Wands? Let's get another card on the Ten of Wands, please. Ten of Wands for Virgo. Ooh, too many. Oh, ten cards flew out. Ten of Wands. Stillmate. Two of Swords. Interesting. All right, let's move on. Your person's energy, we have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups. Let's clarify that, please. Queen of Swords, Two of Cups. Six of Cups, this person is thinking and reminiscing, thinking about the past. This person has, they kind of look like a no-nonsense, you know, type of person. They, they're, you've got the Queen of Swords here, so somebody that doesn't put up with much, right, speaks truth. Um, you've got, you could be dealing with the air sign. You've got love and love. Okay, let's see what's going on. In the immediate past, we have Page of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. What is this Page of Wands, please? Whoa. These aren't flying today. I might just shuffle and draw from the top. Oh, and there they go. All right, as I said that. So on the Page of Wands, we got the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups. So something new coming in. Passionate. A lot of love here, a lot of water, a lot of water signs. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of financial stability. Of course, that's typical for you, Virgo. Um, let's see, what is this current energy? We have Knight of Wands. The Empress and the Hierophant. So you're both thinking about commitment. I don't see a problem here. I don't see a problem here. So let's see. Why are you watching tarot, Virgo? Let me look in my crystal ball. All right, current energy, Knight of Wands, the moon. Is there fear about the unknown? 
That's kind of typical of Virgo. Virgo, you know, you guys kind of overthink things. Maybe you're overthinking something that you don't need to. Where did this Nine of Wands come from? It was laying here. It must have fallen out with this moon. Um, wounded warrior. What is Virgo thinking? What's this combined energy? The moon and the wands. The Nine of Wands. Feeling wounded. Ace of Pentacles. Is it stable? It looks stable to me. Let's look at the outcome. Three of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Three of Pentacles. What is this Three of Pentacles? Looks like collaboration. Success. If you guys are overthinking this, it's... Yeah, this looks good. Eight of Swords. What is the Eight of Swords? Mental conflict. Uh, mental anxiety. Uh-oh. A whole bunch just flew out. That usually is an indication that we have... A message we need to hear so let's see we have um, the two that flew out separate I'm gonna keep the rest we're in a group I'm putting them back we have seven of cups and three of wands three ones can represent an Aries seven of cups is can be either confusion or options so does this Aries possibly have options In this okay so that's what you're in your head about and I'm thinking this Aries that you're seeing if it's an Aries it could just be you know a fire energy uh, it doesn't even have to be a fire sign but this person it looks like they have options um, and you're in your head about what they're gonna choose But do you even have reason to be in your head? Why is Virgo worried about this? <laughs> the devil card. So the devil card is feeling bound, trapped, could be addiction, could be um, obsessing, overthinking, um, something you are having a hard time letting go of. Let's see, what is this devil card for Virgo, please? What is this devil card? I already know the answer to this, but let's draw a card. Virgo, I think you're having a hard time letting go of the past. <clears throat> I think this is in your head, but let's see if we can get a card on it. Six of Pentacles, giving too much, possibly. Uh, Six of Pentacles, abundance, not enough to share. Are you maybe having to give this person too much and you're worried about it? Because here we have collaboration. Are you feeling like you have to give in order to keep this person? If that's your concern, I'm not seeing it. Hangman. Seeking perspective on this. Okay, this is, okay, Virgo, listen, you guys may be overthinking it. You're a little bit self-critical, think things need to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect to make mean that it's real. In fact, if it's too perfect, it's probably not real, and you probably have a big fat pretender on your hands, but we, there's nothing in the spread that says this is not real, that somebody's wearing a false mask, Nothing to indicate that. Um, so, Virgo, I think you've got a good thing here. Let me see if I can get some advice for you. Four of Wands keeps showing up. <clears throat> you guys, you got something good going on here. Something fair. Okay, fair and just. Justice. Outcome or advice for Virgo, please. Outcome or advice for Virgo? Just saying. Ten cups. Happy, happy. Recog that's like full reward. Recognition. Everybody's happy. The strength card. Oh, did you guys see that? It just popped out. This was the card you were meant to see. Okay. So, Virgo, relax. Okay. Um, oh, don't overthink this. You've got something really good going on here. All right. So, um, that's your message. Pretty simple. 
you know, you're up in your head, you're worried about maybe the past, maybe you're worried you have to give too much to this person. I don't think so. We've got uh, several cards indicating an equal, uh, the, the, the feelings and love are equal here. Okay, so equal reciprocity. Of course, Virgo, if you tend to give too much, you need to, you know, I like the word temper. You need to temper that or, you know, control your impulses to do that. It's never good to set the tone, you know, in a new relationship like that. Um, so maybe be careful for that. That might be causing your anxiety. Maybe you're giving too much, it's causing you anxiety versus if you didn't give so much, you wouldn't be questioning so much, right? Because you got a good thing here, Virgo. Okay, um, you guys, if it resonates, please hit like, share, subscribe. If not, check your other signs, and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye, Virgo.